Hi guys and welcome to Heidi's Fish Tank. I wanted to talk about freshwater versus saltwater today. Um, I did cover this probably in a lot more detail in my Clownfish 101 video, so if you haven't watched that, you can go ahead and watch it. But I wanted to kind of do it all in one place and maybe a little bit shorter than that video because that video got long real quick um, and talk about is freshwater really that much easier than saltwater? So there are a lot of myths out there about saltwater. There are a lot of people that tell you freshwater is so much easier than saltwater. Saltwater is so difficult. You don't want to keep saltwater. Saltwater is much more expensive, et cetera, et cetera. To which I say, mm, some of that is true, but I think that there's a lot of scaring people away from Salt water. If you are a fish tank advocate, if you're someone, my bangs are driving me nuts, I'm sorry. If you're someone that really loves fish tanks, um, and you probably are if you're watching this video here on YouTube, um, you probably have enough experience to do a saltwater tank. I have kept fish for 25 years, and it wasn't until this last year that I really got into it and really did proper research into things. But if you are keeping a freshwater tank, properly, meaning you understand the nitrogen cycle. And if you don't, that's okay. I have a video about it. I will link it down below and somewhere in this video you can watch that. Um, but you understand the nitrogen cycle, you know how to do water changes, and you actually stay on top of your water change schedule, you're probably capable of keeping a saltwater tank. Here is the actual difference between salt water versus fresh water in terms of work. I mix my salts. That's it. It takes like two extra minutes. It's really not that hard. People make it sound like it's really hard. The thing to keep in mind is, well, first off, there are some very hardy saltwater fish. So things like clownfish, for example, which I talk about in that video that you can watch, are very, very hardy and it's a great fish to start with and most people want clownfish. Um, there are some very hardy saltwater fish, but there are also some delicate saltwater fish. So yes, you do have to be a little bit more careful and stay on top of your parameters. But if you're keeping fresh water and you are testing your water and you are changing your water, you can keep salt water. Now it is true that salt water is probably going to be more expensive most likely, but that's not always the case. For example, keeping a clownfish in a 10 gallon tank is going to cost you less money, and I haven't specifically run the numbers on this, but based on what I know, it's probably going to cost you less money than keeping discus. Discus are like super expensive. My local fish store sells them for $80 a piece, um, and they need more space, and they're, they, um, in my opinion, are more work. And actually, in terms of actual work, my goldfish tank takes more work than some of my saltwater tanks because the water changes on my goldfish tank are much larger, which reminds me I should probably do a video about nano tanks versus larger tanks because there are some myths out there about that, in my opinion, as well. But in terms of work, you really can do it. Now, um, there's a couple of things that I think hold people back. The first is, do you need RODI water? And the answer is, well, it depends. If you are doing fish only with live rock, with hardy fish like clownfish, in my opinion, no, you don't need RODI water. RODI water will make your life easier because it has a lower total dissolved solids, or total dissolved solubles? STD, nope, TDS. Uh, <laughs> Freudian slip. Um, so you're not gonna have algae build up quite as much. Um, and if you have more delicate fish, you might need RODI water. Um, if you're keeping coral, most people will tell you that you need RODI water. It's probably better for your fish to do RODI water, but I keep my saltwater tanks without RODI water and the fish are healthy. Um, but yes, it is more work in terms of scrubbing the algae. So I guess I should have included that in terms of work that's involved. Um, so I think that's one thing that holds people back. The other thing is um, they think that they have to have this huge elaborate setup. So do I need a sump? 
Sumps are scary. I don't know how sumps work. I don't want to drill my aquarium. Do I have to buy a special aquarium just for salt water or can I use a fresh water one? Um, do I need to get a different kind of filter? And the answer to all of those questions are no, you don't have to do that. Especially if you're doing a nano tank, you can definitely do it with like even a hang on back filter. Um, there are a couple of things that you are probably going to need. You'll need special substrate unless your pH is really high um, normally. Um, I would recommend a power head, but power heads are cheap. You can get very expensive power heads, but power heads can be really cheap. It's true that most saltwater fish are more expensive than freshwater fish, although that's not always the case. Something like a damsel is going to be a lot cheaper than discus, so, you know, there's exceptions to every rule. Will it cost you more money? Probably. But is it going to cost you exponentially more money? It can, it just depends on how you are keeping your fish. Most keep, people who keep salt water do eventually want to do coral. Coral is a whole different ball game and I honestly haven't kept it so I don't know enough to tell you whether it's really more difficult. Um, that being said, I did just win CJ's Aquarium's giveaway, which I'm so excited about. I will link his channel down below, which means I'm getting an all-in-one tank that um, is coral ready. So I guess I probably will be doing coral here coming up pretty soon. So I'll bring you along on that journey. My main difference is I change my, my water when I reach 20 parts per million of nitrate. Now, if you have coral, or more delicate fish than like clownfish, you might need to get that a little bit lower. Um, and I mix my salt and I have to test my salinity. That's it. It's not more work. It's not that hard. So I hope that I encourage some people to try salt water who may have been afraid of it. Um, if you want more details, check out my clownfish 101 video. I go into much more detail about all of it. But don't be afraid. You can do it. If you've kept fresh water and you know all about the nitrogen cycle, testing your water and changing your water, you can keep salt water. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you won't miss other videos, um, especially if you want to see me set up that reef tank, which I'm very excited about. Also, let us know down in the comments, have you kept salt water before? And if you have, was it more difficult than your freshwater tanks? And if not, why haven't you? Um, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.